Good morning, students. Today we are going to discuss HCF by prime factorization method. We have discussed about HCF before the periodic test started. Okay, uh, as the periodic test was going on, so I didn't upload any videos. Okay, HCF means highest common factor, and this is the we have to find HCF by prime factorization method. There are three ways to find HCF. First is the listing uh, factor method. The second one is prime factorization method, and the third method uh, is division method. Now, what we do in this method? In this method, we find the prime factorization of all the given numbers. Whichever numbers are given, first we will find prime factorization of those numbers. Then we list all the common prime factors. Then we list all the common prime factors, and then multiply them together. The product is the HCF of the given numbers. Okay, now let us solve one example. Suppose you have to find HCF of thirty-two comma forty. Okay, here we have to find by prime factorization method. So what we do is first we will find the prime factorization of thirty-two. Okay, now in this way we will find for the prime factorization you are knowing. That means to find the prime factors of that number by division method. First we will divide since it will go by two. Two sixteens are is thirty two, so I am writing sixteen again. It will go by two itself. Two eights are is sixteen. Again, it will go by two. Two fours are again. Two twos are and then two ones are. Okay. Now I will find the prime factorization of the number forty. I will do by same method by prime factor two twos are twenty. Then two tens are then two. Fives are, and then five ones. Are. Now I'm going to write the prime factor uh, list all the common prime factors. Okay, now thirty-two, forty. Thirty-two, uh, two into two into two into two into two, and forty. How we will write? Two into two into two into five. Now what we are going to do is I will list all the common prime factors. Okay, I'm using different sketchbook. Now, what I am going to do is, two is common, two is common here also. Okay, again two is common, so here also I will list two. Again here I will find two and two. Okay, now this is common, this is common, and this is common. So what? How how I will find HCF? HCF is the product of the common factor. That means HCF is equal to this two. This is common, this is common, and this is common. So two into two into two. That means product of the common factors is the HCF. That means eight is the HCF of thirty-two and forty. Similarly, let us solve one more example so that you will uh, you will uh, get clear of this method. Now let us find HCF of one thirty comma fifty. How we do is first we will try and do prime factorization of 130. Okay. Now first I will divide 130 by 2. Okay. I can do it mentally. If you are unable to do mentally, you can do it in the rough column. 26 are 12. Uh, 25 is 265 is 130. Now 65 won't get by the. Uh, it will not get divided by 2. So we will move to the next prime number. Okay. Which is the next prime number? 3. If will it go by 3? 65. 3 2s are no. It will not go by 3. Okay, then by which number it will go? Next prime number is five. Okay, now five. Yes, it will go by five. Five thirteen zero is sixty-five. Okay, now mm, uh, five thirteen zero is sixty-five. So thirteen again is a prime number. So it will get divided by thirteen itself. So one thirty. When we have resolved it, uh, when we have done prime factorization, what we got? Two into five into thirteen. Okay. Now I will find prime factorization of one fifty. Okay. Now how I will do it? First I will divide by two itself. Okay. Uh, now in the rough column you can divide one fifty and you can find two sevens are fourteen. Ten two fives are ten. Okay. So it goes by seventy five. Now seventy five will go by will it go by three? Let me try. It will not go by two, so will it go by three? Seven plus five is twelve. Yes, it will go by three. Three twos are six. Three fives are is fifteen. Yes, it goes by three. Then.
then by 5, 5 5s are and then 5 1s are. So 150 when I have divided, I got 2 into 3 into 5 into 5. I got it. Okay. Now what I will do is, I will list the common factors. Okay. In order to find HCF, product of the common factors. So what are the common factors? Common factors are 2 is a common factor and 2 is a common factor. So, uh, and then 5 is a common factor and then 5 is a common factor. That means the product of the common factors is and this. Okay. That means 2 into 5. So, what I got? 10. HCF is equal to product of common factors and it came out to be 10. Okay. In this way, we do by prime factorization method. Now, let us solve one more example. Let us solve one more example in which I have to find HCF of 165, 285 and 225. Okay. Now, first we will do prime factorization of the number 165. Okay. Now, 165, uh, since the last digit is 5, won't get divided by 2. Anna, will it get divided by 3? We can find by test of divisibility 6 plus 1, 7, 7 plus 5 is 12. That means 12 is divisible by 3. So it will go by 3. Now 3. Uh, 165 you can do in the rough column and can find it out or you can do it mentally also. 3 5s are 15. 3 5s are is 15. Okay. So it will go by 55. Now 55 last digit 5s it won't go by 5. 3. So which is the next prime number by which it will get divided? It will divide by 5. 5 11s are is 55. Since 11 is a prime number. 11 will get divisible by 11 itself. So, 165 I have been prime factorized. Now, I will do the prime factorization of 285. Okay. Now, how will I do 285? 2 plus 8, 10. 10 plus 5, 15. 15 is divisible by 3. So, it will go by 3. Okay. Now, you can divide 285 by 3 or you can divide it mentally also. 3 9s are 27. 5 here, 15. 3 5s are 15. So, it goes by 395 side is 285. Okay. Now, 95. By which number it will go? It will go by, it will not go by 3, it will go by 5. Uh, 5 ones are 5, 5 nines are is 45. Okay. Now, 19 is a prime number. So, it will go by itself 19. Okay. Now, let us do prime factorization of 225. 2 plus 2, 4, 4 plus 5, 9. It will go by 3. Since the uh, sum of the digits for I found that it is equal to 9. So, it will go by 3. 3 7s are 21. Mm, 3 5s are. Okay. Now, 75 again it will go by first 3. 3 2s are 6. 3 5s are 15. Now, 25 will go by 5 itself. 5 5s are and then 5 1s are. Okay. Now, what I will do is I will list all the uh, prime, uh, prime factors. 165 is equal to 3 into 5 into 11. Okay. 285 is equal to 3 into 5 into 19. And 225 is equal to 3 into 3 into 5 into 5. Okay. Now, what I will do is, I will list the common factors. Now, common factors here is 3 is common in, uh, 3 is common to all. So, I will circle the number. I will circle the number. Okay. Now, 5 is common in all the numbers. So, I will circle this 5 also. I will circle this 5 also. Okay. Now, again, since it is not visible, I am doing it by red pen itself. 3 is common. In all 3 and 5 is common in all the 3 numbers. Now, what is HCF? HCF is the product of, that means I can make it this way. Okay. Product of common factors, that means 3 into 5, that means this is the, so 15 will be the HCF of 165, 285 and 225.
Okay. In this way, we find HCF of three numbers. That means first we will prime factorize each of the numbers, and then we will find list or uh, the common factors, and the product of the common factors is equal to the HCF. Okay. One more example I will be solving. HCF of five hundred, seven fifty, and one thousand. First we will prime factorize each of the numbers. First we will prime factorize five hundred. Okay. So it will goes by like two two is a four. Two by two four by two. Again, by two only it will go to one twenty five is a okay. Now it will go by uh, three. Will it go by three? Two plus one three. Three plus five eight. So it will not go by three. It will it go by five? Yes, it will go by five because last digit is five. Five two is a ten. Five five is a twenty five. Then again it will go by five. Five five is a and again it will go by one. Okay. Now we will prime factorize seven fifty. Okay, seven fifty. Since last digit is zero, it will go by two. Uh, when I divide seven fifty by two, either you can do it mentally or you can divide and find it out. Okay, two seven is a fourteen zero two five is a ten. Okay, three seventy five. It goes by three seventy five. Okay. Now three seventy five. Uh, just add the number seven plus three ten will not go by two. Seven plus three ten. Ten plus five fifteen. It will go by. By which number it will go? Let us find it out. Three seventy five. Three ones are three. Then comes seven. Three twos are six. Fifteen. Three fives are fifteen. So it goes by one twenty five. So one hundred twenty five. Now it will go by um, five. It won't go by three. Five twos are ten. Five fives are twenty five. Then again five fives are five ones. Okay. Now uh, let us uh, prime factorize one thousand. Okay. And now last digit is zero zero, so it will go by two. Naturally two five hundreds are okay. After five hundred, it will again go by two. Two fifties are since last digit is zero, it again go by two. One hundred twenty fives are. Now it will go by five, five twenty five sir, then five five sir, then five one sir. Okay. Now I will uh, list all the prime factors. Five hundred is equal to two into two into five into five into five. Okay. Now seven fifty is equal to two into three. Into five, into five, into five, and then one uh, thousand is equal to two into two into two, two into two into two, into five, into five, into five. Now I have to find the uh, common factors. Okay, see, two is common in all the three numbers, so this is the common. Okay, in order to find HCF. Two is common, okay. So product of common factors, so it will be two into. Again, the uh, this two next one two is there, but here also, but it's not uh, present in seven fifty, so it is not common. Then this five is common, five. One five is common. That means this is the common. Two into five into. Now one more five is there, okay. That is common in all the three numbers. That means two into five, five to five into twenty-five, fifty. Okay. Now one more five is there. That is also common in all the three numbers. So into one more five. Okay. This is so two into five, ten, ten five is a fifty, fifty five is a two fifty. So what is the HCF here? HCF is two hundred fifty. Okay, since HCF is equal to product of all the common factors, I got for what is the product of common factors? Say two into five into five into five. This is the common factors, and product of it comes two fifty. So two fifty is the HCF of five hundred seven fifty and one thousand. I am sending exercise five C question number T question number two um, as uh, some questions. Uh, I am sending as PDF. Do that those in class work.